Good morning everyone, it is race day. We're just making our way towards the MCG for the start line in Batman Avenue for the Melbourne Half Marathon. It's about quarter to seven. The marathoners, they'll be heading off at seven o'clock. The half marathon doesn't start until eight o'clock, so we're giving ourselves plenty of time. We're gonna watch the start of the marathon and then uh, drop our bag and head over to the start line. It's a brisk morning, it's eight degrees. Perfect for running, but a little bit breezy at the moment, so hopefully that doesn't get any stronger than what it is at the moment. I'll catch you on the start line. All right, guys, just a quick update. It's the day before the Melbourne Half Marathon. I'm sitting here in our room. The light's not crash hot, so this may not be the most crisp footage you have ever seen. Just want to let you know that I've had a bit of a knee issue over the last seven or eight days. If you have been following the channel for some time, you know that I do have a condition with my knees where I have no cartilage left, which means that that nice, soft, cushy pad between the joint is uh, well, pretty much non-existent nowadays, which does cause me a little bit of irritation uh, over time. It's just bone on bone and it flares up and that's what's happened this time around. I did a run on Wednesday, only got about two or three kilometers into it and uh, yeah, I aborted the run. It was starting to get a little bit painful, which means I haven't run Thursday and Friday. I did go to park run today at Studley. I uh, got around the 5K okay. The knee was a little bit niggly, but uh, I think I will be fine for the half marathon tomorrow. Disappointing, um, but it's just part of running, part of getting old, part of uh, the condition that I have to deal with uh, with my knees now that uh, I'm 58. Yeah, you know, life goes on. Now, I'm not going to go out and set the world on fire in the half marathon. I am now going to take it really easy, uh, just get around the course. I bought myself a little bit of a knee brace to uh, help me out as well. It's probably more psychological than anything. I'm not sure whether it'll actually help. Yeah, it's just all about having a bit of fun now tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing everyone out there on course at the Melbourne Half Marathon. And the next time you'll see me guys, I'll be on the start line. going for a while. This is crazy, just so many runners. Yeah, let's not worry about times or anything today. Let's just enjoy this. Yeah, perfect morning for running. No breeze now, that wind's dropped right off. It's cool, the sun's shining. Oh, this is fantastic. But it is just so busy, so hectic. It's fantastic to see so many runners out here. It's bloody brilliant. So coming up on just 2K. And I'm going to be about 12 minutes. But nice and cruisy. But I've got a smile on my face. Yeah. 2K, 11.47. I missed the first K. Let's see if I can do every K. Let you know where we how we're traveling but I'm not expecting to go any quicker than I'm what I am at the moment because there's just so many people one of Melbourne's iconic trams just go past us 
<laughs> yeah, good. That's the 10k over there. They're heading back towards the G. They started half an hour before us. And the marathon obviously went off at seven o'clock an hour before us. What a beautiful morning for a run with oh, thousands of people. K 4K, 5.31 5K, 5.38 I'm feeling really comfortable a little bit of a discomfort through the knee, but it's not bad. But I'm feeling it down into my left foot. So my left foot feels like I'm a little bit dead. But that's okay. Have a look at all the people down the end of this straight. It is chockers comes the marathon leaders. Let's see if I can sneak across there and see who it is. It's got a decent lead. They're passing about the 30, 31K. Who's this coming behind him? Looks like it's Ryan Gregson. Certainly not a, enough to feel comfortable yet. Oop. Better sneak back inside those barricades. All right, we're heading into Albert Park now. There's quite a few people here on the sidelines supporting. Oh, this is brilliant. Fantastic. It's 6K, 5.34 for 6K. Half marathon leader, it looked like it was Andy Buchanan. Just trying to make his way through the back of the marathon packs. What have we got there? Four hours 45. Oh, another water stop, I'll give this one a miss. I need one just yet. Typical water stop, carnage, everyone trying to get to get some water. At least they got it on both sides of the road, so that's a good thing. Eight K, five thirty-eight. 
503. Feeling a little bit better now that I can just stretch out a bit. Still running beside the lake and the golf course. Finally caught the two hour paces. Shows you how far I started back at the corrals. We'll just keep moving on. Nine K, four fifty two. Just picking it up. I have been feeling much better. the little kids don't you they made an effort to get out here and cheer on mum or dad they're our runners of the future Whew. and some more here we go and another one a little bit of luigi power for you super mario brothers fans my kids used to love Super Mario. They're not kids anymore. Okay. Getting close to Tinker. Ten K four forty five. Garmin's a little bit out because I've been taking the long way around, just trying to get some clear running. About 54 minutes, maybe just a touch under. So that's not too bad, considering the amount of people out here. All right, let's keep going. Getting busy again. Gotta get some water. Oh, that was gels. Now, how I told you about pit straight. Oh, here it is, guys. Pit straight. Oops. Watch out for that uh, big concrete structure. Could have been ugly. And to see up here, probably can't hear me. Oh, pretty breezy along here. Always a water stop just here. Here and get some water. Oh. Get a little cutting in the cross. Water! Water, yep, thank you. Water! There we go. Water! Oh, that's different. We normally go a bit further before we turn. Oh. Gets us away from beating into that wind. So yeah, that's the building where all the pit crews hang out. I think it's in March. Australian Grand Prix. All right. I'll try off 12 and we'll start the head home. Just have to be a little bit patient now, picking my way through these runners. It's going to get busy as we get closer to the G.
15k, 4.45, more water. I missed that one. Not worth going in there and causing chaos. You just keep going. Travelling okay. Sixteen K, four forty seven. Haven't seen a seventeen K sign. Seventeen K, four forty eight. I'm finding myself shouting out for people to stay left. Let the marathon is through. Ooh. Yep. Just put my bloody foot in the hole. That wasn't handy. It shouldn't be up to the runners to tell people to get out of the way. I think the uh, marathon organisers need to have a real good look at themselves because it's just not fair for marathon runners to be dealing with slower half marathon runners. It's been a problem for years and they need to do something about it. I've run the marathon here a few times and it's the same problem. You've got to fix it. And I hope a lot of marathoners have a whinge about it this year. I missed 18k was yelling out to let marathon is through. I think it was about 450. Put it up here on screen. 3k to go. 19k, 446. You can see the G over there. Two to go. It's all downhill from here. Flinders Station. Ooh. Let's go. Let's got the marathoners separated here. That's good. Twenty one K four twenty three. this up. Have a look at these guys. MCG. Woo. It's pretty good. Fantastic. Oh man, what a stadium. The year I did the marathon, we got to run on the hello turf around the outside. Now they've got this white matting. Still okay. Oh, fantastic. Here we go. Of course you can. Have you ever had to run? Woo! Well, if you win the best place to the keys, we got to run. Do you have any running gear that yeah. you absolutely know? Oh, good. Oh, 147.37 on the Garmin. Really good. And it's crowded. Oh. Not sure how much battery I've got left, guys. It's uh, getting close to running out. But got it done. Really happy with that. Finished nice and strong. Knee held together. A little bit niggly, but we'll make our way through this crowd and then we'll go and collect the medal and then we all wait for the others, Trish, Lee and Tracy. So it's busy. 
There are people everywhere, runners. Have a look, this is fantastic.